Hello, good morning. This is now, we are now on the third week for this class. And um, first of all, I'd like to give you my phone number. So you can call me up if you have any questions about the class. My uh, phone number is 6 So if you have any questions Please give me a call and I will answer your question. Now, when you call up, leave a message telling me about the class and your name and I will call you back right away. Okay, so my number is 626 Two three three zero nine eight four. Now this week three, we will be discussing the business function and supply chain. So, <clears throat> what are we going to learn this week? Identify the various functions and the role of information systems in these functions. What are the functions? Marketing, production, human resource. These are the functions of business. Explain how information system in the basic functions relate to each other. Now, you know, the uh, underlying the underlying stories are all kept with information. Articulate what supply chains are and how information technology supports management of the supply chain. Okay. Enumerate the purposes of customer relationship in management systems. Explain enterprise resource planning. And support. Now, we have two words here that are very important. And these are the words effectiveness and efficiency. What are the meaning of these words? Effectiveness is the degree to which a goal is achieved. How is a goal achieved? That is effectiveness. The degree. How much of the goal is achieved? How much of a goal is achieved? Efficiency is the relationship between the resources expended and the benefits gained in achieving a goal. How much resource did you use? to be able to achieve a goal. So efficiency is the cost and the benefit. One system is more efficient if it's open and lower for the same or better quality. Okay. An example of this is that um, if the office somebody gets hurt because the company is trying to um, save money for insurance. Somebody got hurt. Now the person, the, the the person who got hurt, can sue the company big time. And I have seen this. So the company big time. Now, is there efficiency there? There is no efficiency there. 
because the person just got sued big time. So these are two very important uh, words to understand here. The meaning of the word effectiveness and efficiency. The third word is productivity. Okay. Efficiency of human resources, productivity improves, fewer workers are required to achieve the same goal. So productivity tools, software applications that improve productivity, the information systems contribute to the effectiveness and efficiency of business. Like, like right now, um, you guys are listening to me using PowerPoint. Okay? And then I will download this to YouTube and you can watch it. It's a very effective tool and very efficient tool for you, for your productivity. And if you have any questions, you can call me up on the phone number I just gave you. Now, you know, the money, the money always comes from the customer. No customer, no money. It's like, no money, no honey. Okay, no customer, no money. So the customer is the most important part of the business. And we have a tool to know what is our relationship with the customer. And that tool is called CRM. Service continues after delivery of goods as customer service and more marketing. Open combined with the supply chain management system to create an enterprise resource planning system. So this one, the, the CRM plus the SEM, now we have an enterprise resource planning system. Okay. Now, this is the, the story of supply and demand. Supply comes from the supply chain. What are we doing for the customer? And the CRM is how, what is our relationship with the customer? Is it good? Is it efficient? Is it effective? Is our relationship effective? So this is a little bit the story here. You can uh, you can uh, look at this. I will not anymore explain this because it's explaining the customer relationship management and the supply chain management programs that are available to us. Okay. Now, what are these? What are these? Um, um, functions of business. Number one, we have accounting. Okay. Accounting purpose is to track every financial transaction. Okay. We have a, an accounting system for those of you who would like to major in accounting. This is a very good job. Okay. This is also still about accounting here. I will not anymore read all the PowerPoints um, as to the process of accounting. Okay, so this is the uh, picture of the accounting system. We have cost accounting, we have financial reports. Okay, and then of course uh, you you want to know the, the customers. Okay, and then another function of uh, another function is finance. Where do you get the money? Where do you get investors? Where do you borrow the money? This is answered by the finance. Information systems can improve financial management. Okay. And how do you collect the money from accounts receivable? Okay. 
So this is another picture here of the financial information system. You have cost management, investment analysis, budgeting, and forecasting. So we have three three parts here that we do. Okay. Fina uh, cost management is the system. Now these are all systems that we're talking about here that the information systems are keeping information about. Okay. You see, if you, if you run out of cash, you don't have money to pay the payroll. Okay. Investment, investment analysis, where do you borrow money? Do you have a set of people that can lend you money anytime? Or do you have some investors who would like to invest with you? Okay. Engineering. Now, how do you make the product? How do you make the product if you have a, a, a production thing to do? Okay, now there, there are some tools that uh, that um, that we use in engineering, like time to market, brainstorming as to what is the best way to do these things. Okay, computer aided design, rapid prototyping. Okay. So this is the uh, picture of a engineering information system. Okay. So these are very nice pictures here. Look, look at those pictures. Okay. Now the supply chain management. Supply chain consists of procurement of raw materials, processing materials into goods, and delivering the goods. So like uh, paper, what does the paper come from? It comes all the way from a tree. You cut the tree, bring it from the forest to the to the manufacturing facility, and then you make paper or wood from the tree. Okay, so this is about this still about the supply chain. And here we have a picture of the supply chain. Manufacturing and inventory control information systems. So you have material requirements planning, what raw materials do you need, manufacturing resource planning, and now you can use the computer aided manufacturing system. Okay. So material requirement planning. Now, this is again, hey, what, what raw materials do you need? What are the raw materials that you need to make a computer? You need plastic. You need a lot of plastic for a computer. Okay. So you have a bill of, bill of materials, economic order quantity. Okay. Now manufacturing resource planning. You have to you have to plan all the time as to what kind of product or service are you going to give to the to your customer okay and then monitoring and control are your customers happy about what you have manufactured now the product is not going to go to the customer not unless you have shipping shipping from Asia to the United States, how long does it take to cross the Pacific Ocean? Okay, how long do you know? How long does it take to to cross that big ocean there, or the Atlantic Ocean on the other side? Uh, how long does it take? Now the fuel prices today, the fuel prices are so high, and now we have a problem with that. Okay, this is the uh, shipping from the truck to its route. Now, radio, radio frequency identification. The recording information about the product. Like today, I ordered some things from Walmart. And they're telling me that the product will arrive on, on um, Wednesday next week. So 
now I, I, I know when the product is going to come to my house. And these are the programs that we use to do that. Now, so after production, you know, remember uh, what we said, that money comes from the customer. It is the customer who, who, who pays for this. No money, no honey. No money, no, no customer, no money. So, first of all, you, want, you need to know about the customer. What kind of customers do you have? And then you target the customer that you want to have. And then you need to have some customer service. Like I told you, you can call me up. That's a customer service. And then sales automation. Okay. Now this one that I'm doing right now, this is a uh, um, knowledge that I'm delivering to you through the use of automation. Now, all, all of this starts with the market research. To promote a product successfully, who are, they, who are your customers? What culture do they have? Okay. Now, culture means what? Culture is language, food, the way they dress up. That's all part of culture. Now, once you have Describe your customer. Now you target what is the best way to communicate with the customer. What is the best way to communicate with the customer? Okay. So targeted, targeted marketing allows the computer to use the telephone line as an input. Okay. Now the reason also why I want to talk to you by phone is I want to know you better. Okay. Targeted marketing web technologies enables the tailor to personalize the online shopping. Now, some of you, I, I, when I send you this email, I, 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 I tell you to please uh, make sure that you got the email. I just, I just want you to reply, I got the email. And I will mark you also for attendance for that and a little explanation if you have if you have learned something that will help me also uh, communicate with you better. Okay, so location-based services. Now our, our location right now is online. Okay. Instead of uh, the brick and mortar that you go to the school, so we are now doing online or some most of the most of the tools most of the things that we buy today we buy it online. Okay, customer service is, is your relationship with the customer. Okay. Now me, I'm open. I'm open for a customer service, twenty four seven. You can call me up. Now, human resource is the, you know, the how you treat employees. How you treat employees. Are you a dictator? Or do you like to listen to your employees as to what do they need? Okay. That's all part of human resource. Now, of course, the United States government protects human resource from employers who will become or who has the tendency to become dictators okay we, the united states government protects the employees most of the time so we have the employees record management kept by the employees by the employer, by the human resource, okay. And then we have promotion and recruitment. 
training we need to train our employees and then we need to evaluate if they are effective or efficient in doing their work remember effective and efficient will be equals to productivity are they productive and then if they are productive we need to pay them with the right salary and right pay so this is about the supply chain management again okay now if you have the customer service and you have the supply chain management system now we have an ERP enterprise resource planning okay see now we can supplier manufacturer retailer and consumer so here the consumer gets the product or the service that we are offering and everybody is happy that's what we want isn't it everybody is happy now importance of trust effective supply chain management requires technology trust and culture change so these are the three things that we need there okay now we also need continuous attention to inventory of what we are opening okay collaborative logistics web allows organizations from different industries to collaborate okay like supply the raw materials are we getting the raw materials on time to make the product or what okay so this is about examples of some resource enterprise resource planning uh, we have sap oracle sales import these are some of the information systems that are available in the market right now that we can use for enterprise resource planning okay sometimes you need to train the employees as to how to use this enterprise resource planning because uh without training they uh, these are complex systems they often require special tailoring for specific organizations you know you have to tailor it to the organizations they may not support the company's unique set of business processes now they are expensive these are the very expensive uh, programs that you buy okay you can uh, you can look at the internet for some of these companies that are selling this enterprise resource planning and uh, and you will see how they operate okay now uh, providing missing re-engineering there were some failures in this kind of enterprise resource planning once upon a time okay summary so what did we discuss today now this is a very kind of a short effectiveness is the degree to which a task is accomplished a pay efficiency is the ratio of output to input okay output to input productivity is a measure of people's efficiency information systems have been integrated into the accounting services financial services okay and then we have all these other programs that we use to make us more efficient and more effective okay so here are other functions of business